Hey guys, you know what? I hate that my face is on top of like, I need, a, I need some thumbnails to be honest with you. I need to pick out some thumbnails. So let's see if I can keep my face from being on there looking like, like all retarded. I probably just made a retarded face that's gonna get stuck on the thumbnail whenever you guys look for my video. But anyway, so um, yeah, I decided that I wasn't gonna cook dinner tonight. Um, I kind of feel like my afternoon got pooped on a little bit. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to be kind with myself. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me just tell you something. Don't be, don't stress yourself. Bless yourself. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Why not order DoorDash? Why am I in here? I don't have, I don't have to cook. I can order DoorDash tonight if I want to take it easy. Why not? But um, anyway, so I decided to do DoorDash. Then I was like, you know, I have extra time now. So I have extra time. I did get a special request for a cancer reading. So my lovely cancer, have, I have a special reading just for you. Only because you made me feel super fucking fabulous right now. Oops, excuse my language. I need to get, I need to stop cussing you. I need like a swear jar because once my channel does blow up, I can't be cussing on there or they don't monetize it. And that's boo boo. So I need to get it together. So y'all gonna have to like, you know, me to work on myself right i think it's honestly it's one of those things where it's just you know the universe is like okay your season of having a potty mouth is over let's grow up and i'm like but i don't want to i like cussing at people and i like using cuss words to express how angry i am and they're like well you know your face does it all you don't need all those cuss words and i'm like you're right i do have a pretty pretty mean mug whenever i'm mad so <laughs> The universe is right. I should only be ugly in so many ways at one time because that's just ugly, okay? But anyway, my cancer, I'm going to go ahead and read your cards for you, boo. Don't you worry. It seems like you've already been stressed out. Don't tell me this is about love. I don't want to hear that because you know better. So I don't even know why you're stressing on that. I know you all about the self-love too, so... We're going to see. Let me see what the cards have to say. Cancer, cancer. <sighs> Spirit, can you go ahead and clear out any biases that I have about love or relationships? Please allow me to be a proper channel for the messages that you need to provide to our Cancer Collective today. And um, let's see. Let me go ahead and start with my prayer real quick. All right. Oh, Heavenly Father, we're here to um, get some clarification for our Cancer Collective, beings of love and light, angels, ancestors, guides, and of course, last but not least, the grand old Holy Spirit. Please be with me to cover this reading today so that it may help as a tool to clear blockages and provide clarity, confirmations of things that they know that they haven't been able to prove. Let these cards speak to them and Give them the messages they need to hear today. So I feel pretty good right now. I feel like right now is definitely a good time for me to get this party started. I might have to, I might have to pause because my DoorDash is getting here a little bit faster than I expected. It said like 45 minutes and they're already telling me it's on the way and I just barely turned the camera on. So we'll see. I might have to holler at my kids. So y'all get to hear how obnoxious I can be. You know, um, my family... I was born in Texas, um, but I lived in New York when I was younger. And sometimes I feel like my Yankee comes out when I'm yelling and stuff, so I don't know. But I probably, to the Yankees, I probably sound like a hick. And just an obnoxious hick or something. But whatever. Okay. I'm done rambling. Let me focus. And I kind of pretty much feel like they're... I kind of pretty much... that. <laughs> I feel like they're ready. So let me go ahead and just get this... Tell me why this is so you. And I say you, meaning my friend that I um, am doing this reading for. But I did think collective. So if, you know, I don't want y'all to think I'm doing the direct reading for just for my friend. I, I did do collective. However, I definitely feel like this is her vibes. <laughs> 
So anyway, um, in the recent past I have that there was a love situation that you felt was draining you way too much. I feel like, you know, you're usually um, more of a person to stay on the positive side, to see the the bigger picture, I feel like you are usually very open-minded. Um, your communication is usually on point. So I kind of feel like you're disappointed in the fact that things didn't go well in this relationship. I mean, you communicate, you're open-minded, you know, um, you're lighthearted. And, you know, I feel like this person took you into a little bit of darkness that you're not really comfortable with. And when you started to recognize that you were losing yourself, you were like, instead of sitting here worrying about love, I'm going to worry about loving myself. Worry, instead of worrying about what's gone wrong and what's spilled milk we have here, um, you know, it's five of cups in reverse. So five of cups is usually when you're, you're stuck in something, like you don't want to really get out of it. You're kind of just sitting there hoping that things will get better, but you're miserable and you're looking at all the bad instead of looking at the good. But I feel like you know that you're good. You know that you're good without this person and I kind of feel like, it was a no-brainer for you to make a judgment call. We have the judgment in reverse here. So I feel like you are lying absolutely not, not dealing with any of this. So it puts you to a situation where you ended up having to make that choice and you had to, I feel like you're the one who had to man up. I think that this person that you were with knew that you were unhappy and I think that they were in a state of just being comfortable and maybe even being, uncom being comfortable being uncomfortable. I kind of feel like they wouldn't have budged so I kind of feel like you're the one who made the move here because it was really weighing down your spirit, man. And I think you were feeling like this is not me and this is not my energy and this is not the type of energy I anticipate being in and being in a partnership where, you know, I'm giving and this person is just not doing enough, which, you know, and the reason that I say that is because I kind of feel like there was a point when you felt like you would be better off single. Like you're like, why would I be in this relationship? I mean, what am I, what are we doing here? We have the nine of cups in reverse. So I know that you really wanted this to be like you maybe even at one time when you first started, you were thinking it was really a good situation. And then like slowly things started picking at you and really um, pointing out like okay, you were recognizing the red flags. Jazz, leave the candy alone, baby, grab the keys. The food is about to be at the door. Okay, so um, anywho, you might want to put that up where your sister can't see it. Okay, um, so I feel like, you know, financially, you're well. And I kind of feel like with this person, you felt like you were losing more money than you needed to be. And I think that that was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't mind sharing and giving and doing my part and contributing and all of that. But I kind of feel like there was a bit of an imbalance in that area for you. And it started to be like, okay. The emotional part's messed up. I don't feel right. My money is like, it's not bad. I still have money, but I feel like I'm taking a loss here. I feel like this is a, a you know, it's starting to just feel like a loss all, all, in, all in all. So I definitely, definitely get the sense of him doing something wrong to you. I don't know. Let me, let me see if I can find out. The bottom of the deck is the hangman, which is Pisces energy. I don't know if you're a person with a Pisces or if you just felt stuck with him. But yeah, I feel like secrets came out that caused the tower moment. So yeah, some truth was revealed. Oh yeah, okay. So you're basically recovering from some type of betrayal. This person, not only were they not really fulfilling you emotionally, making you feel different, I feel like there was something going on with the money. And I kind of feel like you weren't really, you didn't really want to be single, but I feel like you're kind of like, I'm better off alone. I might as well be, I'm, I'm independent on my own. Why should I worry about maintaining a relationship with a person who's really not doing it for me? This person is not at my level. I feel like uh, we're not equals and not only, not only are we not equals, but I feel like I'm losing fight with you. So. At, at some point, you decided to call in for karmic justice. You, there was something that was not fair here, and you're like, so the current energy right now is this person is kind of like dealing with uh, the karma of not doing right by you. I don't know if they're experiencing it right now, if they're going to experience it, but I definitely sense that karma is uh, going to be part of this person's current situation or future. What's crowning the reading? 
I don't know what that noise was, but sorry about that. Okay, crowning the reading is the Four of Cups in reverse. So at one time, you kind of felt like you had the blues about it, and you are kind of like, oh, should I, shouldn't I? And then you kind of decided to like look around a little bit, and then I feel like at some point, you just decided to just reject that other cup altogether. You're like, you know what? I think I'd really rather consider my options. I really, I mean, I'm weighing it all out here, and I feel like it's saying it's time to go. We have the Chariot card. You just, you know made your decision and you made it quickly. I feel like it was like really a no-brainer for you. Your current energy is that you do want to have the 10 of cups with someone. You do want that emotional fulfillment. I definitely feel like there is a little bit of a void there where you're like, okay, I let this person go because I know my worth. I know I deserve better. I know that I can have everything that I want from someone who can actually reciprocate. And so, I feel like you may have found some messages or there was some kind of communication that you received that really made this decision happen, made that tower moment happen for you. And, you know, the uh, seven of cups in reverse is what we're seeing for the hopes and fears. And so, I don't know why that would be. I, I feel like you made a decision to leave that situation, you knew that it wasn't right for you. You knew that, um, you know, you didn't want to get stuck in a situation where you were felt, where you felt like someone was making you an option. It's like, why am I, what? An option? I'm the prize. Excuse you? You better back it up and um, we'll go over there with your other option because there is no option here anymore. Um, you felt like this person was very flighty in and out. They were, you know, I feel like they came in with a lot of passion, but there wasn't enough substance. Like, I think that, you know, you kind of felt like something was, something was not, this relationship had maxed out at a certain point. You, you felt like there wasn't enough growth. There wasn't enough um, vulnerability. There wasn't enough reciprocal energy. There was also just a sense of like, this person doesn't, something doesn't feel right. And I think you went with that and you let, you let the situation go. So that you could go ahead and have, you know, an option. Yeah, definitely. Six of Pentacles in reverse. This person was not doing what they were supposed to do. They weren't giving their equal share. And you know, a lot of people think that giving your equal share means money. No. Giving your equal share means that you put in the same amount of energy. Money is energy, but time, love, and affection is another energy. Money is found anywhere. I mean, it's a fucking piece of paper. It's printed out. It can be found anywhere. But to actually have someone that has their, that, that's actually pulling within and providing their energy to you, whether it's to lift you up and support you, whether it's to push you to be a better person, whether it's to, um, you know, see the better in you when you don't even see it, to, um, you know, actually have someone's best interest in heart, to be thoughtful and considerate when you're already comfortable and you've already won them, you know, like, you know how they say, like when you, people get into a relationship at the beginning and it's like love bombing your attention on the phone, it's just like quick texting back. It's passionate, it's, it's fiery, it's fun. It's the honeymoon phase. And I feel like once you got past the honeymoon phase, you started to recognize that, hey, wait a minute. You're not doing, wait, 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 hold up. What about that stuff that you used to do? Like. I know we're, we're good now, but you still need, there still needs to be romance. There still needs to be effort. There still needs to be equal give and take. And if it's not, then what's the point? And I think that you were wise enough to know better. Okay. So let's see if we can get some, I do want to get some clarification on this eight of wands. See what this, I believe it was messages, but, oh, that's way too many. Hold on. Door dash is here. That was quick. That was like the quickest we've ever come here. I, I hope they have everything right. Door dash been tripping lately. Anyway, I digress. Let me let me get back to my reading here. Okay, so the Eight of Wands. Okay, so yeah, this person, whatever that message was or whatever information you got, definitely had you feeling like you were left out in the cold, and you decided that no, not I says no no no. I will not be left out in the cold. If anything, you're gonna be left out in the cold because I'm the prize bitch. So, a toodles, right? 
Okay, so what do we have now? You know, the Eight of Swords was, you, you, I think, I think you did take a little bit of time to think about it. Because I think you felt like this person did have potential. For some reason, I'm getting the, the sense that you're like, oh, there's a little potential here. Maybe I should. And then you're like, ah, never mind. Scratch that. Getting out of this mess immediately. 